Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm doing a test of Unity, as per popular request, on my M1 MacBook Air versus the Ryzen 9. This is the Asus Rogue Strix G15. It's got a long name, I'm not gonna say it right now. But you might have caught my latest video testing the Apple Silicon version of Unity and comparing it against the X64 version of Unity on the M1. There was a little bit of a difference there. The Apple Silicon version is faster. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link to it up here. Check it out. But this is the Ryzen 9. It's a beast of a machine. We'll see if it can actually beat the M1. Let's get into it. So here is the M1 and I've got Unity installed. And if you go to new, you'll notice I have a couple of different uh, versions here. 2020 is a version that didn't even know that such thing as Apple Silicon existed. So if you run this version, it won't even say Rosetta at the top in the navigation bar 2021.2 beta 3 that's the latest beta version as of right now i just got it today this version understands that hey i'm the version that doesn't support apple silicon but i'm aware that there is such a thing and i'm going to tell you that i'm running under rosetta 2021.2.0 alpha 19 this is the alpha version that does support apple silicon so we're going to start there I'm going to create a new project using that version and we're going to select the mobile 3D project. I'm going to call it mobile 3D alpha 19 project one and let's click create. It's going to start creating the project that takes a little bit of time. But if we take a look at activity monitor while it's doing that, you'll see that unity is running under the Apple process. All right. So here it is at the very top. You'll see unity version and then it says metal. There is no mention of Rosetta here. That means we are running an Apple Silicon version. Let's switch over to my Ryzen machine over here and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna open up Unity Hub. I'm gonna create new. This is also version 2021.2. This is the beta, but there's no need for the alpha because we don't have Apple Silicon here, so it doesn't matter. Mobile 3D, let's create a new project and call it Mobile 3D P1. Why not click create and off it goes. So we're going to race these two machines against each other and see which one wins. I have not yet done this. So we're going to see this together as soon as this thing is done creating the project. By the way, I could time the project creation, but that's an operation that you run not very often. So even though it does take probably a couple extra minutes on the PC here, you're only going to do this once per project. So shouldn't matter too much. It's the build, that iterative build process that we really care about. All right, this is finally done. I'm gonna go up to file, build and run, and it wants me to select the folder. Once I do, it's gonna start building. So here I'm gonna do the same thing on the M1. Build and run, and we need to give this a name. As soon as I hit save on the M1 and select folder on the Ryzen machine, it's gonna start building. So let's do it, boom. And we're off to the races. Who is it going to be? Ah, really curious about this. Okay. The M1 has started the project. It's running. This one is still building. Not too far behind though. And there it is. Now I'm going to do this one more time just so that it's not a fluke. I know that some of you are going to say, well, the Asus machine should really be plugged in. We can do that. We can do that even though a laptop is a laptop. And in my opinion, it should be tested without it being plugged in. That's the first and primary test that I always do. Sometimes I'll do a plugged in test. In this case, I will because this is the first time I'm actually doing a race between these two machines. So I want to know how this machine behaves. So I'm going to close these projects down. Let's head back to Unity Hub. I'm going to create a new one, Alpha 19, Mobile 3D, and give it a name P2. Let's create that one. And I'll do the same thing here on the Ryzen 9 machine. Definitely the creation of the project is way, way faster on the Mac than on the PC. Not sure what's responsible for that. If you know, let me know in the comments down below, please. That is an insane difference between the creation of the project speeds on these two machines. Here we go. One more test, file, build and run. And over here, we're gonna do file, 
build and run as well. I will bring up my timer application so that I can start the timer once the M1, which I'm assuming is going to be faster once this finishes to see what the difference is. Let's go. And I got my timer ready to kick things off. They're both building right now. And there we go. This one's done. And that one is done. So I've got one more test to do folks. And I want to plug in this Ryzen machine. It comes with this gigantic brick. I don't know where to put that. All right. It's going to go on my desk. I'm going to spare you the details of me creating these projects, but I'm going to create two brand new projects, one on the M1 and one on the Ryzen 9 machine. Last test folks. Let's go. Got my handy timer handy got my handy timer handy <laughs> all right alex whoa that is interesting <laughs> the ryzen 9 actually beat the m1 by four seconds after being plugged in are you saying that I have to have my machine plugged in in order for it to give me my full performance in order to get the best out of this chip? I have to stay plugged to the wall with my laptop. Really? So if I'm on the plane, I got to either find a plane with a plug or I have to suffer and wait for an extra six seconds for my project to build. Going into this, I knew that the Ryzen 9 5900HX is a powerhouse machine. I expect it to perform well. I just don't expect the difference between plugged in and not plugged in to be so huge. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of tests on this Ryzen 9 machine versus the M1. Unity was one of your suggestions, so thank you very much. And thank you for watching the video. Oh, and if you found this video useful or entertaining, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, it really helps me out. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you next time.